It is 415 and we're going to take you now to Fort Lauderdale. It is feeling real steamy outside. Temperatures are feeling <laughs> in the triple digits. That's right. NBC6 meteorologist Angie Lassman with us breaking down the forecast. How's it out there? How's it out there? Yeah. Yeah. How's it Valid. Yeah. yeah. I, get, I get what you're <laughs> you trying to say. Right? Right? I got you it. I got it. Good. <laughs> and you really, you guys explained it. It's hot. It's steamy. It's uncomfortable. And our temperatures uh, across the state are causing heat advisories. I'll show you that here in a moment. But let's start at the beginning. Early this morning where we were, again, this is no surprise, breaking records. Those record warm lows in Miami and in Key West all broken by just about a degree in each of those spots. You can see those records dating back to 2003 and 1998. So we add those to the the total uh, of those record warm temperatures that we've been tracking since the beginning of the year, which is putting us on on pace to be the hottest year in history. So we'll wait and see if that actually unfolds. But in the meantime, our high temperatures not record breaking. Those are close to normal. We ended up into those low 90s across the board. Nothing crazy there. But so far in 2020, we've had 168 warm records at our three reporting spots. So that's Miami, Fort Lauderdale and Key West. And these are going to continue to keep coming in, especially as we go into the weekend. We'll, we're still going to be hard pressed to see our temperatures cooling down into those overnight hours. So we'll be watching that and tallying those up. This is the heat advisory that I wanted to tell you about for uh, Southwest Florida. You can see it across first Naples, Fort Myers that lasts until 6 p.m. Now we're not dealing with that, but it still is uncomfortable, especially when you not only look at your current temperatures into the low 90s, but when you look at those feels like temperatures, triple digits for everybody, 111 right now in Naples, but it's not much better as we look towards Pembroke Pines at 107, 106 for Kendall, even along the coast, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, uh, 102 and 103. So uncomfortable for sure and dry, rain free, essentially. Your first alert Doppler 6000 coming in completely quiet. We are not tracking any rain out there and it's it's going to stay like that for the most part. We are watching a couple of areas out into the Atlantic that we will see for potential development. One has a 40% chance of development. Another coming off the coast of Africa has a 70% chance of development. Right now, over the next five days, we're not looking at any threats for South Florida. So that's good news for us, but we will continue monitoring those as we continue rolling right through the peak of hurricane season. All right, your Friday, your Saturday, your Sunday, and even your Monday, because remember, it's a holiday weekend. So we're looking at that forecast, especially into Saturday with really dry conditions and warm conditions. Note that it will be fairly bright as we head into tomorrow. So great beach day if you can get off work early and start that weekend a little early. Your Saturday and your Sunday will start to see rain chances increasing and significantly by Sunday with a 50% chance. So one in two of us seeing a shower thunder storm temperatures only getting into those upper 80s, but it'll still be uncomfortably humid. So note that uh, by Monday, 50% chance of rain, and that kind of takes us back into that more typical pattern for the rest of our work week as we return to work from that holiday weekend. But between now and then next couple of days, ladies, warm but bright conditions.